yesterday. Was that a smile on your face as well? Oh, absolutely. It was fantastic to see Scott have a win. I went down and had a wee chat to him afterwards. Just a quick congratulations. They're just about to go, so we'll switch over to the race. Here we go. Yes, indeed. Off the line. Nice start there by Scott Moyer. Now, let me start it again. Scott Moyer, the Moto TT man, and a, a big, nice high out there to uh, uh, Peter and uh, Chris as well. Two good men behind him. I've known uh, Super Dad George for so long and an immense amount of respect there. But uh, now to see what this young man is doing with two solid mentors behind him. Unbelievable. Peter and Chris, and what a real role they're paying into. Uh, Chris, of course, that man. And I'll tell you the story at some stage during the race or during the weekend, 45 marathons in 45 days, and a man who's so uh, uh, set on his mind about what fitness. And eight months ago, they got Scott Moyer on a focus to take that win yesterday, or in fact, just to have wins and uh, do improve in the sport. And it's a huge amount about the physical and mental part of the sport and that preparation working to the max here yesterday. So great. Spider, we saw a little hint of that, that he was going to be doing better after a very good Suzuki series, but to come here to Timaru and already have his first victory, it's all looking good signs for Scott Moyer. And on the oldest bike in the field as well. It's the oldest bike. It's an 07 Suzuki GSX-R 1000. It is um, Robbie, one of Robbie Bugden's old machines. So congratulations uh, to Scotty Moyer for yesterday. But Nick Cole's on fire at the moment. Nick had it all his own way in practice and qualifying. Got the magical point. Qualifying. There he goes up on the inside of Scott Moyer off the end of the front straight. And he said he got a lousy start yesterday and just wasn't riding well. Only mistake after mistake. The, the thing is, when you're out there qualifying and doing that, his old man says he's weaving his own web, he's spinning his own web, and of course once he's amongst traffic, he just he just couldn't get settled, but it looks like he's settled down. The Red Devil Racing, Cycle Tour sponsored, uh, Flying ZX-10 gets a country mile. Is that Dennis Charlotte coming through? James Smith coming through? James Smith was right in the lead there for most of the race yesterday. James Smith on the 77 Honda machine there, coming through in there the third place. All rise. Where is uh, Dennis Charlotte in that pack? Uh, Six. Sixth. Sixth at the moment for Dennis Charlotte. He's also got the Fujitsu Suzuki of Sloan Frost and here. Linda McGee won back and well done to the M1 Motorsport team. To uh, Moggy and uh, Noel, great effort there to get the bike back on the racetrack. And uh, that huge crash at Manfield was certainly a turning point for this young man. I tell you what, if he comes out the better side with some better riding for it, there'll at least be a slight positive. And of course, we've got the fantastic Lovitz up there. Phil's super dad at 56 years of age and his lovely 23 year old daughter Sophie. The Australians that are with us here today on their uh, Kawasaki. So, uh, well done. Five for Nick Paul. 87 now and Scott Moyer, 77 and James Smith on the South and Honda supported uh, new CBR 1000 RR and, and a new bike for James as well under the uh, Honda umbrella so that is fantastic to see and he really is showing he had a real chance yesterday to win it, uh, didn't quite get there but he gave it to another first time winner so if we can see uh, James Smith get a, a victory he will be another first time winner and soon bikes and a well deserved one and a crowd favourite as well. Hey Hayden Fitzgerald up there for an awesome uh, fourth place on the uh, Ross Graham Motors this board at Suzuki New Zealand GSX-R 1000. Craig Shearer is much better in the fifth, followed by Dennis Charlotte, uh, Sloan Frost, Linda McGee, Jaden Hessen and Tony Rees. Tony after the huge crash yesterday, what a brilliant recovery, and the Timaru Metal Recyclers team have come back, and of course Timaru Metal Recyclers as well, proud to be behind the excellence of uh, the great uh, Tony Rees, but more importantly behind this class, and we love having these local sponsors, so our thanks to John and the team, Timaru Metal Recyclers, super sponsors of Super Bikes here today, at home at, Roos, at Red Roost Street in Timaru on the industrial in the south end, remembering cash for scrap, but there's more than that. Timaru Metal Recyclers do some complete recycling. So demolition and recycling specialists, everything from old houses to old car bodies, if you name it, if it can be crunched and munched, there's got some value back in it. Think about concrete and what you can do now, steel reinforcing inside it and using the concrete aggregates again. Our thanks, Timaru Metal Recyclers, sponsoring us Superbikes for Spiders, all eyes on the race. A lot of eyes out there for the bike band in sixth place, the current National Points uh, leader, Dennis Charlotte, there in sixth place, he's going up there. Hey, look. Underneath, like a homosexual cowboy, he's just shot up the sheriff. No, the sheriff gets in front there, but it is Nick Cole out in the front. Scotty Moy on the... Mate, this Scotty Moy is coming back. This guy must have three bulls at that speed. 200 and, 260 k's an hour, they're apex, and they're going into the braking down the back straight on these superbikes. That's Craig Sheriff's starter, and that. Not even getting into six gear, six-speed gearbox, not even getting into sixth gear. We go over into the hairpin. All right. But, uh, we've, of course, we've, the comment we've been making is that we've got no Andrew or uh, no Robbie this year, and the gap's been wide open. Uh, Ian, we've got some very fitting people that are coming to take their place. Absolutely. I'm loving watching these guys battling this year. It's fantastic. The group's nice and tight. You know, you've got a good group of three at the front, three gap, and another group of four behind them. You know, everyone's riding really well. They're riding hard. Everyone can see that there's something to win. And I'd suggest that people should be looking out for Scotty Moyer because if he can sit there until two laps to go, he will give it absolutely everything he can to get through and take that win again. What about the fact as well that the man you've supported, Andrew Evans, hey, you got some points last time. Did that put a smile on Andrew in your faces? Oh, absolutely. You know, we're running around on an old bike, but we're having a lot of fun, and half of the racing is about having fun, so it's fantastic. 
still out in the front there, the, the uh, third place man, the third place man, uh, James Cook, he's actually the fastest man on the track, 103.377, he's moving up on the pack, and I'll tell you, give you an idea of the pace at the front, it's a 103.6, so 0.3 of a second at Superbike level is just outstanding, we look into the hairpin, it is still not Scott Boyer in second place, with Nick Cole and the Red Devil Kawasaki out there in the front, and the fastest man there, 77, James Smith, a lonely ride there in uh, fourth place for Hayden Fitzgerald on the Ross Graham Motors, GSXR 1000, and he's changed his riding style, he didn't run with the electronic uh, package in the last couple of seasons, but he's there in fourth place. Craig Schurz, 56, it's number three, Dennis Charlotte, and then the Sloan Frost machine, the Fujitsch responded, TSS Red Baron. Now, Stu Rodwell, the owner, was down, is down here this weekend just to follow, amongst others, his sponsored rider. Jaden Hassan is also doing a good ride there. He got down into the threes. Now, a few people have been around here in the three-second bracket, but Jaden Hassan there on bike number 41 in the threes as well. I got to talk about uh, Ryan Hinton back there in 11 place to the Hinton Motorcycles team out of Christchurch, and uh, morning to the team. Fantastic family. Love their effort. And, uh, Ryan, one of my heroes on the racetrack, so good to see him in his revitalised road racing performance. And what about young David Hall, of course? Uh, David Hall uh, was, uh, got the uh, Bridgestone Scholarship uh, last year from a superb uh, year, but his man made a huge step up for a young guy to be up and amongst superbikes. And this is a point that other riders are commenting about, that there's very little lapping going on in the racing because you've got riders like uh, David Hall uh, back there, Phil Lovett, Ray Clee, Aaron Scott and uh, Sophie Lovett. And man, oh man, have we ever seen a lady like this in New Zealand? Bet you not, folks. So look out for Sophie and her performance. But how good these other riders are. Where's last place? Last place is less than half a lap behind the race leader. That's how good all those other riders are. So don't take it away from those just because of that and those uh, 19, 11, 12, etc. They're still highly capable, highly credited the champions. But what a trio. And Scotty Moyer is not there. So how did Nick Cole got that advantage by it? Well called earlier on in the race. But the other two behind him have not let him get away. And that time still of James Smith, still the fastest on the racetrack back in third. Not sure what's happening. I, I just think, uh, well, certainly Jaden Smith in third place there. He's the fastest man on the track still. But uh, coming through too is Dennis Charlotte. Now, we come into this uh, race with 88 points versus 77. There was a four-point differential. Nick Cole clawed back four points, one for putting in front of Dennis Charlotte and one for the uh, three, sorry, and one for pole position. So this looks like Dennis Charlotte's got to move up there because this is a national championship class, of course, and there was 11 points in it, uh, 12 points in it. The gap is now narrowing. Nick Cole got a bit of a break there, but James Smith is still hot on the tail of Scotty Moyer from Taupo. Oh, look at that gap, that gap for that fourth place. Remember, Hayden Fitzgerald, he was there, but now we can see Dennis Charlotte. Where are those uh, Charlotte supporters? Because he's doing much better now and gaining on the tail of his fellow Suzuki race mate. So look for the number three. Here comes the Dennis Charlotte show on the Underground Brown. Supported uh, Suzuki. This is a great performance by Dennis. Fighting his way back. And I wouldn't be... No, in fact, still that James Smith fastest time. I was about to say I wouldn't be surprised if Dennis Charlotte uh, maybe... I might have had either that as a fastest lap or maybe the second or fastest rider out there on the racetrack. There they go with Nick Cole. There is uh, Scott Moyer and uh, looking out uh, Ian. Uh, yeah, Dennis got a really good drive coming out of the sweeper onto the straight and he's just slipped up into fourth place. Now look for him to really put a muscle on and try and close down those leading three. Right, so uh, that's exactly, thank you Ian, great to have another pair of eyes looking at what's going on. So what he's saying is look out in that next uh, lap time update and potentially Dennis Charlotte, as we predicted, could have been uh, second fastest by lap, but I tell you what, this one, who knows, he could have taken it. So there's your uh, trio again, still no changes, uh, green versus uh, black versus white, and uh, as we look at the different colour schemes, and is it great now to see three different bike brands, that's the feature. It's not just one bike dominating the landscape, but three very good bikes. So you've got the Kawasaki ZX-10R, you've got the Suzuki GSX-R, 1000 and now you've got the Honda CBR 1000 RR so uh, uh, three fantastic 1000 CC superbikes all going for it. That's really put the spice back into the likes of Kawasaki doing more support in racing as our Honda and their revamped team with the likes of Tony Rees under the uh, Honda Rider Insurance uh, banner and this man James Smith back riding for the Honda race team and what a ride he's putting in as well. Yeah, it's a fantastic ride. Just watched uh, Scott Moyer get a bit of a wheel stand and have to close the throttle down and off the sweeper onto the straight but he's managed to get it back open hard enough to hold off and he's still maintaining his second place. Fantastic racing out there, everyone. Oh, mate, uh, Scotty Moyer had a crash last weekend, so points-wise, he's not uh, at the sharp end of them. In fact, where he is in points, he's... Uh, no, he's third in the points. Linda McGee on the uh, M1 Motorsport Valvoline... BMW M1000, S1000R on M is fourth in the points. We look over to the hip and it is still Nick Cole. Oh, there's Scotty Moyer down. Scotty Moyer's down. 
Well, that's tough, but he didn't take out James Smith, and he is upright. Scotty Moy, bummer. Did I just put the uh, commentator's curse on it? Now, I don't think Nick Cole will is. Now, the fastest man on the track, 77, James Smith. He's coming through there. Uh, that, that, that dropped him a bit, but he didn't uh, get tangled up in it. But Nick Cole's got it all to himself at the moment, but it's still seven laps or six laps to go of this 15 lap. Watch for Dennis Charlotte, too. Who would have seen that? He's aiming in for the lead as well. And there's Sloan Frost moving up on Hayden Fitzgerald. Hayden Fitzgerald in third, fourth place for a long, long time, but Sloan Frost was trying to reel him both on some of the machines. GSXR 1000. It looked to me like Sloan Frost got the drive out of that castle corner. Indeed, they're side by side going down the end of the straight into John Jones' corner. It was Sloan Frost, though. Actually, Sloan Frost early on, but then Hayden Fitzgerald swept around the outside. What a massive uh, thing. Scotty Moore walks away. There will be a yellow flag out there. That's a tough thing, but hey, who can forget that win he had yesterday here at Levels, his first All national right, still, championship right, superbike win. Still James Smith for that time. Way back in lap number three. This is now nine. Remembering yesterday it was only a 10 lapper today. These are two 15 lappers, so long the race duration for these guys. That's where the fitness and the strength to be coming in. Love to find out the story from Scott Moyer. The mistake uh, will be uh, one that I'm sure he'll curse about as we look ahead. There we go. Smith to get it. Smith to get it. Did it exactly where Nick Cole did it on Dennis Charlotte yesterday. James Smith into the lead, and here we go. Well, this will be a faster time than he'd done before. Now, in fact, uh, no, it's, uh, yes it is. No, it's still lap, lap three. It's still that time from lap three and Dennis Charlotte right on them exactly as you'd uh, predicted Ian you've been watching uh, Dennis here getting better faster stronger yeah Dennis oh there's Sloan Frost two bikes down Sloan Frost Hayden Fitzgerald third one I think that might have been Jaden Hassan run up we've got two bikes down there both riders are up there but that's okay so uh oh Jaden's all right, Jaden, Jaden didn't go down, but two bikes took each other out. I think it was Sloan Frost on the inside and Hayden cut him. The important thing, both those guys up, superbike action here. Oh, mate, that's three of the top five gone down. Tough game, tough game. Well, I'll tell you what, there's a huge amount of pressure on this kind of race, and when you're starting to see that going on, and that's what you've talked about yesterday, Ian, the fact that now that we're missing Robbie and... Uh, uh, Aaron, uh, Andrew I should say, all these others know they've got a chance. Absolutely, they're all pushing really, really hard because they can all see, you know, the top five, six guys can all see that they're in for a win. All right, so watch out for it. Here we go, James Smith. Come on, where's those James Smith supporters? You need to be noisier. Come on, folks. You've all got to get out there and do your support. Look at this. Fantastic watch. The two light coloured lights. And remember, this will be, I think, the 11 uh, lap mark, 11 lap mark, mark up there. And there's your uh, Nick Cole back there to third. Nick Cole back to third. So well done to uh, Nick. Good recovery on that. He's just off those other two, but who knows? Those other two out there. And we've got one of those uh, original bikes that crashed. We've got one over the side. One still just lying down there. We've gone to a yellow, gone to a yellow, which is the right thing to do. The good thing is with the riders. Uh, well off there. Congratulations to Race Control because uh, they're deciding to uh, keep this race going as they should be. So well done as we look out for the uh, update. Changes there, Spider, is it yet? Yeah, there was dramas of plenty there. Nick Cole dropped back, dropped back substantially. I thought he might have had a problem in one particular corner, but uh, Dennis Charlotte got through there into second place. And along that back straight there, he's now got in front of number 77, James Smith. So it's now Suzuki. Honda and then Kawasaki in third place and uh, as they come up to the hairpin, no passing up here, no passing at all, but it is Dennis Charlotte, 77, and then the Red Devil Racing Kawasaki in third place slipping down there. Can't quite see who that is in fourth. That, 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 well, that's Craig Scherf's. I think that might be Craig Scherf's there in fourth spot, but we'll have to confirm that as they come in through. Through the bus stop here, it is Dennis Charlotte there, both smooth riders there, 77, Nick Cole, and it is Jaden Hassan in fourth place. Jaden Hassan in fourth place. Wow, he got into the threes yesterday. There we go a bit further down. That's Linda McGee. Hand up there. We've got a red flag. We've got a red flag situation. Uh, what are we going to do? It's... Uh, 15 lap race, 11 done, maybe down to 10, 4 laps to go, so we might have a restart, so red flag, not sure what that's going on. More importantly, the riders will be on a red, they'll do the complete circuit on the roll down, and they'll come back and line up on the dummy grid. We've got uh, race control going out, I, uh, I've got an idea that it was still, they were still hesitating on this incident down here, and the bike